Yeah. Heck, man. American Pickers ain't got nothing on me, man. Hello, all my fellow junkers. Junkies. Yeah. Trash pickers. Thrifties. Today, I went ahead and grabbed. I've been going did I did. I'm so flipping busy and uh, trying to get through that shed and list and uh, take care of. Man, we ended up harvesting a bunch of rabbits and everything yesterday. So just crazy busy. But as I've been going through some stuff, there's a. Uh, ooh, look at that, man. Glad I didn't sit on that. Going through stuff, I ended up finding uh well, I've been finding tons, dude. I got so many knives. But going through and you know, a few of them I set aside. One I just threw in here for just cuz, but two of these, uh two of these I'll probably sell and the other ones I won't, man, so we're just gonna show it. This the old switchblade stiletto. This one is a uh, Milano Italian. You know, and then to uh, close it, you do the little lever there. And then this has got to be down. Oops. Maybe. Maybe it's got to be up. How the heck do you close this thing? There it is. <laughs> and then when you push push that button up, it won't uh you push the button, it won't flick. Let's do that again. So then you push the button down, click it open. Do the little lever. There it is. In the safety. A little stiletto, man. Just thought I'd show that, Milano. And then I'll throw this one real quick. This one I just threw in, you know, because, man, it's good brand name, you know, that you've seen a lot of times. Swiss Army Knives, it's the same brand name, the, what is it, Victor Knox or Victor Knox. And then, uh, Foshner, R.T. Foshner or R.M. Foshner. But it's an old butcher knife, man. Pretty good condition, man. A lot of, you know, you can definitely see where they, you know, they did the using the steel and stuff, sharpening it and stuff. It's definitely a used butcher knife. And I'll probably get 20 or 30 bucks for that. That's getting ready to get listed. And then these two, I'm keeping. I'm going to sell the stiletto too, man, if you're interested in that. 25 bucks. Because I don't think I can put that on eBay. I better check and make sure I can sell it online. <laughs> Who knows these days, you know. <laughs> but yeah, $25 plus shipping, man. And it's yours. You have to practice. I just did it that time, no problem. So anyway, the other two, man. This one, you know, nice little, man. These are the best fillet knives, man, that they make. You know, and they're in Finland. This one's actually a Rapala brand. And then it's uh, the J Martini, Martini, you know, the Finland, but uh, made, made, uh, made a, Rapa or a Rapala, I don't even know where this one came, but that, uh, dang there, man, like brand new, wish I'd have had that yesterday when I was doing rabbits, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that one. Miss Kitty said. Miss Kitty <laughs> said I gave this to her when she seen it again. But I probably did if she wanted it. So I'm, that might end up going to her. And then the last one I came across, in, you know, in some stuff. And I'm like, all oh, right, man, I'll put that out for sale, dude. I haven't sold one of those for a long time. And Miss Kitty's all, what? And she looks at it, she's all, I've been looking for that, and I missed that knife. So, this one ain't for sale. This one is an Idaho hillbilly. Custom, back when I was making custom knives. 
You know, hillbilly whittlers, man. Dude, I sold hundreds of them. You know, in all different, different styles and everything. And then uh, I got, I got to where I started taking pre-orders, and for about a year, man, and I swamped myself so much then it made a job out of it and it wasn't no fun making them. Yeah, sure, I was making the money and all that. You know, I think I think this one sold for about 35 bucks what I think I sold, you know, the thing for. So you can got my little insignia. I don't know if you can see it. Little tree on it. Here Billy Whittlers. Dude, I do not I still I still have a lot of people ask me, hey man, you make any of those? But I thought I was gonna have one for sale, but uh Miss Kitty uh, blew that right out of the water. So that's really, man, all I got. I just wanted to show a couple of knives. Make sure and keep this video, or this uh, channel rolling. And we'll see what else we uh, we come across. Oh, look at this thing. Ow. This is an old, uh, get it off my shirt. An old drill press. No. This is an old hand turn, mounts to the wall here, you know, put your drill bit in there, and it's an old, uh, you know, two brackets right here, I can't, I don't know if you can see it, it's not, not light, <laughs> it's pretty dang cool, that's an old, uh, an old drill press, that one's a Buffalo Forge Company. Probably Buffalo, New York. Yep. Buffalo, New York. Buffalo uh, Forge Company. Probably need to look that up. The wood handle's gone. but uh, It's got the handle. You can put another wood or... Uh, I know I was going to put a, an antler handle on it. That's what I was going to put on it. But We shall see, man. We shall see. So remember, keep your eye on the skyline and your nose to the wind. And if you're out there treasure hunting, I hope you find some color in the bottom of your pan. See ya. Oh, Daisy.